Good morning, everyone. This is the Q&A that you've been waiting for. There was like 69% um, of people that said grip art, 11 people clear grip, and 20 people that said plain grip, but grip art won. So that goes perfectly with package. I was gonna say box, but it's not a box, it's a package. This is from the homie Power Grip Tape too. So for everyone that always asks me, where am I getting my, my uh, grip art? Power grip tape, right here. Go, just go. Right now, I'll check it out, dude. I'm like really hyped. First grip we have, Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Spades Pirate. This is a uh, from One Piece. Um, Ace's pirate crew, Spades. But then he joins Whitebeard, so. Yeah. Gear fourth Luffy. Yo! This is so dope! This one's rad. I love this. Bro, Power Grip Tape, you're killing it! This one, Bunny Senpai. This one's legit. Tack, Initial D. If you've seen an Initial D, this is so badass. So I ended up choosing my senpai, like over all of them, because I feel like this is just the one I recently finished watching, like anime wise. And the board that I'm gonna be setting up is the, the Braille Bamboo board. These like are super strong, so I'm really hyped on it. And I'm gonna be answering your questions as I'm like gripping. First question, why isn't your bro in the Braille? Well, my brother is 17 and he's still in school and we live pretty far away from Braille. So that's pretty much why. He's not gonna miss school to be like in the Braille videos. That's like what I'm trying to say. I'd appreciate it if you could talk about skating, light footed, what it is, how to do it, thoughts about when it's helpful to keep this mindset. What True is talking about, he's talking about like light footed. That means like you're not fully putting your weight on the board. I know that might sound weird, but it's like if you're trying to, uh, if anybody's ever done a wally, your weight isn't going completely to a wall. You're kind of like using the wall to make the board come out and throw you out to another direction. Another good example is like, let's say you see a crack and you use your board to like kind of like bump like the front two wheels in front of that crack and it like sends you going up. Um, I think that's what true poop means. Like being light footed could save you a lot of times. Like whenever you're doing like tray flip lift or any flip trick to board slide, your board won't fully break if you're light footed. And that's really good. Also times that I've used light footed have been um, very useful. Like because in a, like being an advanced skateboarder, uh, you know the situations where it involves being light footed for a lot of reasons like the time that I early grabbed off the three block using the glass skateboard I was super light footed like I I let the board kind of hit the ground before I landed on it and even then I was like not doing I was doing my best not to land on the the I was doing my best not to land on the the glass skateboard that thing was kind of, that thing was scary, I'm not gonna lie. Second, related, maybe you have some thoughts about this. When I see a shot skate, he's got a very particular style of absorbing the impact when landing a trick, especially downstairs and drops, but also from smaller heights, like low ledges absorbing and slowing down the impact. I know if you have any thoughts of on absorbing the impact when landing tricks, I'd love to hear that. For absorbing the impact, it's kind of like you just, it's, it's basically how you land with your knees. You just go in all the way. Like I've seen like people land stiff and I don't think that looks comfortable or even feels good. So you definitely want to make sure that 
um, you're properly bending your knees. That's like you bending down, like taking the, the impact in. It's gonna feel proper compared to like not bending your knees. You're you're hurting yourself at that point. In the video where they said you are the new braille skater, you promised that you would go through the braille bid house in red underpants to imitate Mowgli. Please do it. I don't remember ever saying that, so I can't really say yes or no. So unless you like show me proof, like through a direct message, then I, I'll go forward with that. Until then, I don't think that I said that. Is how it's looking so far. Looking for some advice, I have trouble with my flexibility main, mainly being able to flick off the side of the nose for kick flips. Do you think the deck with the pointier kicks would make it easier so I don't have to flick off the side as much or would it not be noticeably different? Honestly, I think that if you're talking about flexibility, you should do stretches. Stretch your body, like do stretches so you feel more lenient and able to move around and for the pointier kicks, I think that actually might work. Depends on you. This is all very subjective to every skateboarder. Like some skaters might say like that won't work. Obviously it won't work for that person because they're already used to some sort of different style in approaching kickflip. But these are great things that you're already thinking about on your own. And I feel like you should test them out because if you're thinking about them, you should definitely go for that. That's my thought on that. Cause like. For me, kickflips, I never thought too much into it, but just like using my leg to flick, flick, flick and make sure my back foot would get on. That's about it. Who is your all-time waifu? Uh, for those that don't know, waifu is like anime chick that you would like marry or uh, just kind of like, that's your, that's your girl. And people in the anime community, they call them waifus. So if I'm gonna say anyone that, that would be my waifu, it would be Nami from One Piece, like this. She got your back, she's a navigator, she's like in charge. She definitely knows what she's doing in life. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. What's your favorite trick? By the way, big fan, thank you. Thank you, skate boy. Um, my favorite trick, and, and this is like legit, Ollie. Ollie is my favorite trick because you can go so fast and ollie you can do big gaps and ollie there's something about ollie that feels so amazing like i love it like the fact that you can every trick involves a ollie basically like kickflip involves a ollie you have to pop the same way you have to learn how to ollie to understand a kickflip so ollie has definitely been like one of those tricks that i love feeling what would you say was your biggest letdown in life and maybe how did you overcome it so this is a lot this is a lot, a lot, a lot. So many things. In 2017, me and my kid's mom split up. <clears throat> then, two months later, or in December, I, I, I had to tear in my meniscus, and that really messed with uh, me for the rest of 2018 up until May. So, these things all had to deal with mental. I was literally dealing with mental battles after that because I was dealing with a heartbreak I was dealing with like not being able to skate until May. So that was like six months of torturing my mentality, just working and like kind of not doing anything but just always complaining. And if you ever see my close friends, you can ask them like how, how I was. I was always like on the floor, just kind of bummed out on life. And I was just mainly bummed out because I couldn't skate more than anything, but also dealing with the heartbreak, kind of uh, going through that. So these things, I overcame them once I really went to the doctor because like I waited three months to go to the doctor to find out what happened to like my knee and I figured it out. I had a point tear in my meniscus and the doctor said he didn't really recommend uh, surgery because he felt like I could heal it properly without it and I started going to the gym and working muscles around it to help uh, alleviate the pain, which it did. I overcame all that and was able to skate again. And two weeks after I got back into skating, I went to Japan with my friend Ipe, and it was literally life-changing from there on. Like, once those two weeks happened and I went to Japan, my mentality really turned. And I was able to feel um, like I was happier and getting out of this mentality that was I was stuck in for months. So that's, um, 
my biggest letdown in life so far and how I overcame it. I'm pretty sure life has a beautiful way of showing us how to overcome things and that was that. Uh, I like to say life takes care of us because life is everything. Like life is you breathing, life is your food, uh, life is like when you sleep, and life is skateboarding too. Typically when I say life takes care of us, I'm talking about people around me, you as a viewer, you're, you're part of us. Uh, you can also say it like life takes care of me, but I like saying life takes care of us because it involves other people and it's just kind of like a mantra like uh, we're gonna like no matter what some like life is working up to take care of you and help you go forward if you put in that effort of meeting it halfway that's kind of like one of my things that I've used for uh, how to overcome a lot of things like I'll just take a a step back and I'll say that and usually I feel a lot better when I say that like because it's like assurance like I'm not in this by myself all right we're gonna take off the other board I've basically set up my my new board the, the last board that I was riding was the ninja board this one's dunzo uh, I chipped it up pretty bad and I cracked it on like this lip slide trick. I put too much pressure. Once again, coming back to being light-footed, I was not light-footed, so that didn't help. You obviously have some future plans. If you don't mind, would you, what are some of those? The future is just traveling the world and vlogging all of it. Like, I literally want to go keep traveling the world. Like, I've made some of my favorite vlogs, which are like in New York, South Korea, uh, Japan, and I literally want to continue doing that with other countries around the world. And that's literally the goal for me to do that with friends that's something that I always think about and I just want to be able to do just build a skate park out here in Bakersfield like where it's like close to home like, I guess like my own park that would be another cool goal like those are the two main ones honestly and maybe be the first person to skate in space those are the three that I would love to do honestly so if you had to give up one thing about skateboarding, never do any more big drops, never do rails, and completely learn any new trigger. All right, so if I had to give up one thing about skateboarding, it's probably skating ledges. They're all right, but I'm not really that big of a, like it wouldn't hurt my feelings if I couldn't skate ledges again. What would I love to learn at a high level? The mega ramp. That's actually a really big goal of mine. The mega ramp and McTwist, those are my vert goals, honestly. <laughs> What is my favorite shoe to skate in? Currently, I've been skating Adidas, and literally I bought two Adidas shoes in December, and I'm I'm on my second pair, and they look like they're about to rip, but they look like they're gonna last up until April. So that's kind of crazy, honestly. Four months, five? Like, and just two shoes? So, that's pretty cool. The two shoes that I skated were, the first ones were the Lucas Pugues. Those lasted me up until like, uh, January, late January. The Adidas Liberty Cup. Those two shoes are so good. Do you like working at Braille and do all the team members like Uzi, Glow, JD, Chris come every day? Yeah, everyone comes in every day, like when we film. And yeah, I like working for Braille. You know why? Because it's so fun. I get to hang out and get paid to be myself with other people and just progress in skating. Like, I would not be learning vert right now if it wasn't for Braille. Like that's 100% true and I appreciate that I'm able to learn vert and get paid for that. That's amazing. Favorite memory growing up? Um, I'm literally gonna make a very special video for like my 100K video and it involves like my whole YouTube journey because like I've been vlogging since 2016 and if you go to like my main page uh, it shows like uploads and underneath uploads it says start from day one It shows like the very first vlogs all Leading up to current date. I have like around 500 and something vlogs up and I'm gonna mash it all up into one video for 100k and Honestly, this is gonna be probably one of the most important videos that I'm gonna make because like even thinking about it, it like gets very emotional because I didn't do this alone. My friends were a part of my YouTube journey and be, without them, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here without anybody. Like, uh, and, and a lot of people could argue like, oh, but you did this. Yeah, but I wouldn't have been able to do it with the, the thoughts of others, the help and advice 
and like being referred from people. So my favorite memory is literally everything that I've done with friends because it's so special. And honestly, it's like, I'm just thankful to be in this point and part in my life and to still know that I'm doing skateboarding and creating YouTube videos. Like I love doing these things so much and it never was about views. It was never about money. And the fact that a lot of things are happening now, and this is like five years later, uh, it, it's just crazy. And I'm just thankful to be honest. Like it's one of the like hardest things that I had to uh, go through. Like just not, not quit and just believe that this could become something. So it's crazy and it's beautiful. Like that's all I want to say. Like my favorite memory is literally creating uh, videos for my friends and when, I, I hope I do a really good job expressing that through that 100k video. Uh, I'm probably gonna start working on it whenever I hit like 80k just because like I want to take my time with that video. Thank you for watching. Got this done. I'm almost at 100k for Instagram. Follow me there please. Thank you. Da, 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 da. And I'm almost on 100k here on YouTube. I'm not that far away. Uh, I really am excited on making that special YouTube video with about my friends and just the journey of YouTube. Um, just I'm excited in general, and I'm thankful that y'all participated in asking questions. And this board is amazing. Shout out to Power Grip Tape one more time. All these grips, I'm hyped. This board, you will be seeing this board in future videos. So. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and sign out until next time.